I was feeling great. I was having a great day. It was sunny. It was la di da. I was en enjoying a, a new to me place, and this this truck drove by, and then stopped, and then waited for me to catch up, and then took time out of their day to roll down their window and like yell like racial profanity at me, and then follow me for a little bit, saying, "I don't want to use." I don't want to give credit to their language by repeating it, but like sentiment of like, you don't belong here. Why are you here? I'm coming back for you. Hi friends, my name is Jojo. I've been living in the Sea to Sky Corridor now for almost a decade. I feel silly to say that. And when I'm not plugging away on my computer, I'm out with my dog, Dosa, um, helping him learn things that he thought a dog couldn't do and climbing, running, biking, and just very much trying to take this beautiful landscape in, in as many methods and ways possible. So you grew up moving around a lot. Yeah. But do you think that you were like looking for uh, community because that, and do you think that you found that in the outdoor space? Short answer, yes. Yeah. Long answer, I legitimately did not have like two friends to stand together for the vast majority of my child, teenage to young adult life. Because mm -hmm. we'd move like Squamish is like the 14th place I've lived in across yeah. five countries now. And mm -hmm. we've moved all the time. I was never close with my family. Like I moved out when I was 12. Mm -hmm. So that support system that a lot of people might have through their parent or through their siblings is not something that I experienced. Mm -hmm. So for me, all of that came from friends and the people around me. Yeah. And as I was able to better develop yeah. Um, now as an adult, being a more confident individual and being able to know who I am more so m m almost creates a like, really large insatiable drive to want to reach out, to bring people together. I think one of my favorite things to do is like host a dinner party and yeah. invite 30 people and ideally half the people don't know the other half mm -hmm. because then you're able to have these really genuine interactions where like people have these conversations like, oh, you're actually really cool, like, let's hang out. Yeah. And being able to be a vector and a progenitor of community. Mm -hmm. oh, that's kind of how we met. That's how we met, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it, it, it's to, it's to, be, yeah. it's to be, in, be in a place where um, you put a bunch of good eggs together mm -hmm. and they, you get along. I think what I felt was when I showed up is there was just a lot of eyeballs on me because I think people still are not used to seeing someone that does not look like them in these spaces. I think that's a very human thing to recognize difference. I think our eyes naturally are drawn to contrasts in our environment. And when someone enters that you don't immediately recognize or identify with, your attention draws to that. So I was. I didn't want that attention. I didn't want to have these conversations. I just wanted to climb. I just wanted to run. And I found the easiest way to do that originally was just like, I can relate with you on this. We can just talk about climbing. We can just talk about running. We can share beta. We can talk about different trails. And maybe this is an egotistical side of me, but it's like, for me to belong in this space and to be accepted, I needed to perform. I needed to do this really well because then I would be welcomed. I would have space. I had to earn my space. It wasn't just there for me. I had to get, to get at it.
the work I'm doing now was opened up, and I remember this quite clearly, was a question uh, I was asked when I was at a crag, and the question was, Jojo, how do you feel being the only person of color here? And I didn't have an answer, because if I'm honest, I wasn't thinking about that up until then. I really wasn't. I was just excited to go climb. And that was the first time that that question was poised. And what was interesting for me was I couldn't get that question out of my head. Because as soon as someone asked and brought attention to that, I look around and I was like, huh, you're right. I think I run because it brings me so much joy in moving on my own two feet. I think the idea of self-propelled adventure, self-propelled movement is really exciting. Look at these really special moments I'm able to have by moving my body, by getting to a point where I'm <sighs> breathing hard. I can feel my heart pounding and it feels so raw. It feels very in tune with what my brain is thinking like, hey, you're aware, your eyes are dilated, your brain's firing, you're watching where your feet are falling and you're so hyper-focused, but also distant from everything else that's happening in your life. I think for me, a strong reflection piece comes with the pound, 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 step, step, step. That methodical movement for, my, for me, for my brain, inspires, here's consistency, here's stability. My mind can wander a little bit. Oh shit, that was a rock. Okay, that's back to it. Me. <laughs> All right, now stay there. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Happy Monday. Welcome. Um, nice. What drives me to be in these spaces now is very much not what it was. It's not performance based. It's not focused on me, but rather it's very much directed towards how can I make space for other people. You might not have felt this injustice. That doesn't mean this doesn't exist for someone else. That doesn't mean this is not a lived experience for someone else. If we've already agreed that you want to make spaces, why can't we have this as well? Same space, different conversation. Mm -hmm. Same feeling, different situation. With the education, with the access, with the tools, but I think more importantly with the invitation where I want you here. Not you can come along, not, hey, we have space, I want you here because I've intentionally made time for you, that I've thought about who you are and what you need and how can I show up for you. I think those are the most impactful experiences rather than climbing a really hard thing or running a really cool trail. It's like being in a space where you can feel like yourself, that you don't have to justify your existence in this space. You can just be you. I think to be unapologetic of who you are, to take up space where appropriate, and again, to invite people with you. I think that's what it means to, to grow a community.